Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this morning mountain weather update. Quite a morning we've got here across Colorado, Utah, and Wyoming with extremely high winds. I want to show you this. Uh, it, the wind is so bad up there in, in the West Oaks, it actually drifted that snow over the top of that that side uh, of the snow stake setup they have up there at Aspen Mountain. Um, but you're not going to see really a big accumulation until this next surge comes in. And that happens uh, tonight into tomorrow with the main area of low pressure. But let me just show you this. A basin up near the summit, it's basically a whiteout, zero visibility. Uh, we've seen winds of over 100 miles an hour here in Colorado this morning. I mean, look at that. Just absolutely, <laughs> you can't see anything uh, up there. Let me show you uh, Loveland Ski Area. You can see the lifts being blown around here, um, likely to be closed up there, uh, at, at, certainly at the higher elevations. There's just too much wind going on and, and basically no visibility as a result. Um, let me just show you some of the readings here from this morning. And this was from the 10 mile range uh, up there on the 10 mile at Breck Peak 8. Uh, Breckenridge Peak 8 at about 13,000 feet, gusting to 114 at 4 a.m. this morning. Uh, and there were other gusts of over 100 miles an hour. Winds sustained at 64, temps are below zero. Uh, wind chills are basically off the charts with winds like that. So it is absolutely brutal. Colorado, the winds have been very strong in Utah, very strong up in parts of Wyoming, and it's even colder up in Wyoming than what we're seeing here. All right, let me take you into my headlines and just basically here's what I'm seeing this morning. So it's all about this Arctic front that moved in. It's a boundary and it's bringing in just this chunk of, of truly Arctic air. And that's where we're seeing a lot of the focal point for heavy snow and high winds with the jet blast basically running uh, right along it. Uh, and there's a storm system that will develop on the west side coming out a pivot out of Oregon and California that'll bring a surge of snow, the next big surge into Utah, in Colorado tonight into tomorrow, and that brings a lot of accumulation with it. Um, it probably will brush the Tetons as well, but expect high winds today, 50 to 100 miles an hour, Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. The window for snow is basically now through the 15th, Utah, Colorado. There's another fast-moving storm, 117, 118, with a west-northwest type of flow orientation and potentially some additional snow around 120 and 121. California, you get snow today with that low that will pivot through. Um, and then it moves into Utah and Colorado. A little bit of snow on 117 and 120 and 121. The northeast, you've got a powerful storm moving in here today with some snow and then changing over to rain snow in Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine with a lot of wind, uh, light snow on the 16th, and light snow on the 19th. All right, let me just show you what the... Um, the water vapor satellite uh, imagery looks like this morning. So out west, here's a setup. Let me just draw the uh, the Arctic front. So it's basically draped right here over Colorado and Utah and over Oregon. And that is the boundary for really cold air. It's 12 below zero in Denver right now. It's 20 to 30 below up in Wyoming. On the back side of this, um, this area of low pressure, you can see the spin right here. That's what will pivot out of Oregon where it's snowing very hard. And then it will swipe the Sierra and then move into Utah tonight and also into Colorado. And that's what's going to deliver that next big push of snow accumulation. We might have a lull in the action before that actually arrives late uh, this afternoon, tonight, and then to tomorrow. All right, let me just show you what this is actually going to look like as far as uh, snowfall goes. So here's the forecast radar and the satellite. So that's the current situation by this afternoon. Here we are uh, on 114. Look at that heavy push of snow on 114, uh, morning and afternoon. Uh, and there it is uh, late in the afternoon, still seeing that snow on 115. It is still snowing. You can see that snow right along the, uh, the Arctic boundary over the Wasatch, the Tetons, and in Colorado. Um, still snowing in the afternoon, in fact, on 115. And here we are on 116, snow's finally uh, stopping, but here comes the next storm system into the Pacific Northwest, and that's that fast-moving storm. It pushes snow through BC and Idaho, Montana, quite a bit up in Wyoming and the Tetons, and it will brush the Wasatch, and then it drops down into Colorado by the end of the day on 117. And there we are on the morning of 118, still snowing, uh, and then it finally lets up by the afternoon of 118. So we've got some uh, storm systems lined up here for the West. Uh, all right, let's talk a little bit about the jet stream. So this is why it's so windy here today. I mean, we've got two jet streams co-located north and south branches over the west, and we're just absolutely nailing Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado with high winds today. Um, that's the setup on 113. You can almost see the low coming out of Oregon 
and California. So 117, here is that fast west-northwest flow that will crank out some snow with a storm system over the Tetons, Idaho, Montana, Utah, and Colorado. One last stop here. So this is that new pattern. I talked about this yesterday afternoon. By 120, 121, 122 becomes a Pacific flow, and this will probably bring in a storm system. You can almost see a little area of low pressure, tiny trough rotating through Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. So we're likely to see something there but it's definitely going to be warmer. Here's the new grand total map, and again, it takes into account what we're going to see today, tonight, tomorrow, and on Monday, and then that storm on 117 and 118. We still have over 50 inches to go when you account for all that in Little Cottonwood Canyon, probably 40, 45 and big, and a little bit less up there in Park City and Deer Valley and Snow Basin. A couple of feet on the way for the Tetons when you account for everything. In general on this map where you see the purple uh, shading, that's a foot plus, and that's pretty much all major mountain ranges of the west. We've still got one to three feet to go in parts of Colorado, and again, that next big push comes in tonight into tomorrow, continues into Monday in many cases. Got a lot of snow yet to go in the Pacific Northwest and B.C. with that 117-118 storm. And still one to two feet to go in California in the high Sierra. All right, let me zoom in on that central and uh, northern mountain corridor of Colorado. Again, very cold, very windy, and we've uh, got about one to three feet yet to go. Um, the preferred areas would be Vail, Steamboat, Buff Pass, and potentially up on the Continental Divide uh, with over 30 inches of accumulation yet to go. Let's go west to the West Elks here. So you've got to Aspen, Aspen Mountain, and Aspen Highlands, 15 to 20 inches. Quite a bit more, though, over Crested and Indy Pass with just a better capture in this wind direction, Capitol Peak as well. Uh, Mount Elbert's there. You've got uh, Mount Princeton and Harvard all the way down through the Collegiates with about a foot of accumulation and a lot of wind. All right, let's break it down by period. So what? Basically today through the 15th, a lot of snow is going to fall along that Arctic front. And of course, that secondary low will come in and uh, basically give you that uh, that extra surge of snow uh, tonight and to tomorrow. 116 to 119, that west-northwest flow looks pretty good through the Tetons, northwest uh, Montana, Idaho, and the Pacific Northwest and B.C. And it will also affect the central and northern mountains of Colorado and the Wasatch. Here's that final period that could have a storm system um, around 121 and 122. That could bring some snow, obviously, to the, uh, the Wasatch, Colorado, and uh, the Tetons. All three uh, locations could get snow, and maybe a foot to uh, California in the High Sierra. All right, one last stop. Let's go to uh, the Northeast. Not much snow now in the forecast. I've had to really downgrade things because it looks like the 116 and the 119, 120 storm Stay south of Vermont, New Hampshire, and Maine. So that's probably going to do it. All right, guys, that's uh, that's going to wrap it up for this morning's update. I mean, what a brutal day we have in store with that then that big push of snow coming in tonight into tomorrow for Utah, Wyoming, and Colorado. Be safe out there, and I'll talk to you later.